Yesterday, as I'm sure you heard, the most iconic photo in really all of human history was taken Donald Trump's mugshot. <laughs> not just of our lifetime, not just of this century, which is really only 23 years, not just of the last 100 years, but really of all of human history. A former president of the United States, the front runner in the current election cycle, arrested for trumped up charges for doing the exact same thing that Democrats did and tried to do when he was first elected back in 2016. Of course, I will be putting on a t-shirt for you in numerous different styles and already would have had them, except I don't know what happened with my graphic designer. I think he just totally flaked on me or he didn't understand the urgency when I said as soon as possible, meaning right now. And the software that we use to collaborate, we use a special software, isn't sending out notifications. So be patient, I'll have them maybe later today or this weekend, I'll post an update on the community tab. And I searched Google for the most famous photos of all time. I know Google is evil, I just wanted to see what the mainstream search results were for that topic. And Trump's photo definitely eclipses all of them. You probably have seen some of these, the guys eating their lunch, the steel workers out sitting there on the beam of a skyscraper that they were building. This photo, of course, celebrating Victory Day over Japan during World War II. This list has Gandhi and his spinning wheel. Not sure what's so special about that one. This one I'm not gonna show. It's a horrifying scene from the Vietnam War. Tank Man, the Chinese guy standing in front of the tanks in Tiananmen Square in China. This one, the Afghan girl, the girl with green eyes. So I would say by far, Donald Trump's mugshot eclipses all of these. And what's really interesting is what this meme illustrates because both Trump supporters and Trump haters were extremely excited about the mugshot being released. The Lincoln Project, those never Trump phony Republicans who turned on Donald Trump back in 2016 and then made an absolute killing cashing in on the gullible Democrats who just gave them a bunch of money so that there could be a group of a half a dozen supposed Republicans who were against Trump. They posted this. I would say it's a moronic meme, but the meme itself is actually great. I'm sure they stole it from Republicans because I've actually seen almost identical ones on our side. Their intention behind it, however, is moronic because they are celebrating the release of the mugshot too. Live reaction to Trump's mugshot photo, they say. <laughs> This guy, however, is even more out of touch. He posted the clip of Kyle Rittenhouse breaking down on the stand, which became a meme, and then captioned it, Republicans after they see the Trump mugshot. <laughs> no moron, we were looking forward to it even more than you. Up until yesterday, the most iconic mugshots of all time would probably be a toss up between Frank Sinatra's and Martin Luther King's. Frank Sinatra's was actually sold, I remember, on a t-shirt back in the 90s at Spencer Gifts. Then, of course, there's this mugshot of Nick Nolte, an actor who I literally can't even name a single movie that he's been in, but his name sounds familiar. He was an actor back in the 80s, maybe the 90s. Still, the title holder for the nerdiest mugshot is held by Bill Gates, who was arrested, I think, for reckless driving back in like the 1980s speeding in his Porsche. And the title holder for the hottest mugshot is still Paris Hilton, who was arrested for a DUI back, I think, in like the early 2000s. And if there is a silver lining to this situation, I try to make light of it the best I can. This is just some gallows humor because I don't think most people understand just exactly how bad things are gonna get in America. But Donald Trump is back on Twitter, now rebranded as X posting his first tweet since the mostly peaceful protest uh, shortly after January 6th when he was banned from all big tech platforms. Posting the mugshot along with the caption, election interference, never surrender, and a link to his website, Donald J. Trump, 
Com. Last night, pretty much all night, on CNN and MSNBC, they used split screens with the Operation Mockingbird assets on one side of the screen and Donald Trump's mugshot on the other. To me, this is justice. The fact that Manhattan didn't give him a mugshot, I thought was offensive. I thought that the Fed said, we already know what he looks like. He was the president of the United States. Okay, offensive. Everyone else had to take him. This case, and I think Fonnie Willis is a hero. She is a national hero because she she is unwittingly helping me put out what will ultimately be the best T-shirt of all time. Again, you got to be patient. They're going to be great. I could have slapped something together last night, but I want to have my guy do it professionally. So they're going to be worth the wait. And if you think Donald Trump is having a rough life these days, imagine being Ron DeSantis and listening to and believing the Republican establishment whispering into his ear that when the indictments come, Donald Trump's political career is going to be finished. He's going to tank in the polls. Nobody's going to support him. Only his poll numbers have skyrocketed and Ron DeSantis' campaign has cratered. And instead of vigorously defending Donald Trump against the deep state, against these trumped up charges, against the Marxist revolution that we're in the midst of, he's just still running for president. And this was his response to Donald Trump's latest arrest. Governor, what do you think about this split screen of you here in the Field of Dreams and former President Trump uh, being arrested in Georgia? Well, I'm glad I'm at the Field of Dreams. I'm happy to be here. Challenging Donald Trump for the presidency is going to be the biggest mistake of Ron DeSantis's life. Instead of just standing down and waiting to see what happened or to see if maybe he would drop out to deal with the charges or to see if he has a health issue, which he still may, and have to drop out. He could have easily then entered the race and been a heroic savior cheered by the entire party. But instead, his campaign has been an utter embarrassment. And the longer it goes on, the dumber he looks. Like I said, I'm going to get the Trump mugshot shirts as soon as I can. One of them, I'm going to replace this mock-up photo that I put out a couple months ago with the actual mugshot. There's another design that I'm working on as well. I'll get them out as soon as I can. So depending on when you're watching this, they might be up there already, hopefully. So head on over to markdice.com or click the link in the description below and just check it out. Or if you want to get something else like the Hey Liberals, Leave Them Kids Alone shirt, the Conspiracy Theorists of Right shirt, and Ultra Maga shirt, or any of my awesome designs, Head on over to markdice.com or click the link in the description below and check them out.